Matt Molson was born November 1, 1983 in North York, Ontario. During his youth, he played both lacrosse and hockey. Due to his small size growing up, he suffered many injuries and was cut from numerous teams. Many doubted Molson's talent and if he would ever succeed in hockey. When I was 14, um, I actually think uh, right before the game, all the parents had a meeting and this mother, we'll, we'll go unnamed, uh, said in front of all the parents uh, of the players that uh, I, was, I was one of the one, if not the worst player in the league and I shouldn't be on the team. And, you know, my dad was there for that, uh, to, to hear that. And, uh, I remember him coming down to me before the, before the game actually and pulled me out of the dressing room and told me. And, uh, you know, I think I ended up going out that game and scoring two goals. But, uh, you know, it's something that's kind of kind of fueled me and, uh, it, you know, drove me to, to try and get where, where I wanted to be to prove people wrong. With the help of his father, Molson defied his critics and continued to work hard to reach his goal. There was a lot of sacrifices that had to be made. In my case, uh, I remember my dad waking me up in the mornings before school to go for runs, work out. You know, he would just skate us in the ground at about 6.15 in the morning. He uh, would always tell me, if, you know, if we're going to do this, you're going to have to work harder than anyone uh, just because of my size and you're going to have to do things other people aren't. My first year of junior, uh, you know, I had a, a pretty good year. I went to try out in the BCHL. I got cut from the, the Vernon Vipers. Uh, tried out in the US, USHL. I got cut from Sioux City. I was kind of thinking, am I really as good as I, I think I am after having one good year in junior? And I knew at that point when I was 17, 18, that uh, you know my hockey career was wasn't exactly looking the brightest. So um, you know I wanted to go to school to fall back on. I started off uh, real hot that my second year of junior. Cornell approached me after one of the games and they said, we really like you, we're going to kind of scout you over the next week. They called me up after the week and said, we'd like to offer you a spot. And uh, I said, all right, I'll, I'm going to talk it over with my parents and I'll get back to you. And I immediately called my dad and said, Dad, Cornell just offered me a spot. He said, well, what would you say? I said, I'd, t I'd talk it over with you. He said, well, call him back, tell him you're going. I said, uh, all right. So I called him right back and said, uh, all right, I'm in. At age 17, Molson wrote an article for his high school newspaper about his acceptance to Cornell and the hardships he faced to get there. I shared my struggles and some hills I had to climb and some adversity I had to face. You know, I think I just wanted people to know that. And it wasn't a pretty road or an easy road there, but, um, you know, eventually I got to, to where I wanted to be. After I finished what I thought was a pretty successful college career, you know, I was drafted by Pittsburgh and I hadn't had much contact with them, but. I was pretty positive that you know they'd want to sign me after the, the four years I had, but um, they actually did not want to offer me a contract. So I was uh, released to be a free agent. A couple weeks went by, and my agent called me up in the car. He said, "We got an offer from LA." So I said, "All right, <laughs> sounds good." So I went down to Cornell for I think uh, three or four days and then headed to uh, the rookie camp in LA to start my professional career. In Molson's first year with the LA Kings AHL affiliate, the Manchester Monarchs, he tallied 57 points, including 25 goals. I think I was the only forward in like the top 20 scoring on our team that didn't get called up my first year. My second year, I think I got called up after nine games uh, on my birthday play my first game against San Jose. You know, I can't describe to anyone how happy or excited I was. I ended up scoring in my first game and I had the, probably the biggest smile I've ever had in my life. I think the hardest part for me was the next year when I made the team out of camp and then, you know, had my place there and all my things shipped there and then got sent down, you know, seven games later. That was probably the toughest even after all the things that went on when I was 14, 15, 16, that was probably the toughest moment in my career. Getting sent down after making the team uh, pretty much feel just discarded and uh, not wanted. And I continued to believe I was going to make it and I was going to do great things in, in the NHL. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what kept me going through all those tough times. 
Molson became a free agent after the 2008-2009 season and was signed by the New York Islanders, where he joined his longtime friend, John Tavares. My brother Chris played with, with Johnny. They played lacrosse and hockey together growing up. When the Islanders called last year, I immediately called Johnny. Uh, he's like, no, you got to sign. You're going to be great. You're going to do great. You're a great player. You're going to do well. We can play together on, on the island. It'll be so fun. He was always by my side in training camp. He was the guy in my ear telling me, you know, you're, you're going to do great. You're playing great out there. And just his relationship with me and his friendship but really instilled confidence in myself and really made me feel like a, you know I could be a good player in this league. Molson, who had played just 29 NHL games before 2009, proved to be one of the Islanders' best offensive players. He played in all 82 games and led the team with 30 goals. As he has done his entire career, Matt Molson exceeded expectations. Maybe after I'm done playing, I'll look back at it and say, uh, you know, I went through I went through a lot of things, and uh, I, I persevered. But uh, right now, I don't I don't know if it's kicked in yet. <laughs> I don't know if uh, if I really realized uh, all the things that you know I went through and had to go my way. And um, you know, I've been very fortunate and lucky to to get some good bounces along the way with the bad ones. No matter what, I'm gonna have to continue to silence my my critics and. Uh, you know, I'm fine with that. That's kind of kind of what drives me. And uh, you know, before it was her saying I was the worst player. Now it's people saying I uh, can't score 20, 30 goals again. So um, you know, the next thing I have to do is silence them.